Hello, today we are looking at 20 environmental regulation questions for your real estate exam. These are fairly easy questions. You should do very well on it. Think of it as a review. Uh, if you are studying for your real estate exam, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss a video. It's free to subscribe. People ask me all the time, does it cost anything? No. It's free to subscribe. It just helps us in the algorithm so more people see our content, more people may pass the real estate exam. We're just trying to help people here. And if you have a question, go ahead and put it in the comments. If you like this type of content, also hit the thumbs up for us. It really helps us out in YouTube. All right, here we go. 20 environmental regulation questions. What federal law is designed to protect human health and environment by regulating the release of hazardous substances into the air, water, and soil? A, Clean Water Act, B, Clean Air Act, C, Comprehensive Environmental Response, Compensation and Liability Act, Endangered Species Act. Answer B, Clean Air Act. The Clean Air Act is a federal law aimed at controlling air pollution and protecting human health and the environment. What is the purpose of the Comprehensive Environmental Response Compensation and Liability Act? A, regulating water quality standards. B, protecting endangered species. C, addressing hazardous waste sites and spills. D, controlling noise pollution. C, addressing hazardous waste sites and spills. CERCLA, also known as the Superfund Law, addresses the cleanup of hazardous waste sites and spills to protect human health and the environment. Which federal agency is responsible for enforcing environmental regulations, including those related to hazardous waste and toxic substances? A, Environmental Protection Agency, B, Department of Energy, C, Occupational Safety and Health Administration, D, National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. A, Environmental Protection Agency. The EPA is the federal agency responsible for enforcing environmental regulations and addressing issues related to hazardous waste and toxic substances. What is the primary purpose of the Resource Conservation and Recovery Act? A, regulating air quality standards. B, managing and controlling hazardous waste from general um, generation to disposal, C, protecting endangered species, D, regulating noise pollution. B, managing and controlling hazardous waste from generation to disposal. RCRA is a federal law that regulates the management and disposal of hazardous waste from its generation to its final disposal. What is the purpose of the National Environmental Policy Act? A. Regulating water quality standards. B. Ensuring public participation in environmental decision making. C. Controlling noise pollution. D, protecting endangered species. B, ensuring public participation in environmental decision making. NEPA is aimed at ensuring public participation in the environmental decision making process by requiring federal agencies to assess the environmental impact of their proposed 
actions. Which environmental law addresses the protection of wildlife and their inhabitants and their habitats and aims to prevent the extinction of species? A. Clean Water Act. B. Clean Air Act. C. Endangered Species Act. D. National Environment Policy Act. C. Endangered Species Act. The Endangered Species Act is designed to protect endangered and threatened species and their habitats to prevent their extinction. What is the purpose of the Toxic Substances Control Act? A. Regulating noise pollution. B. Controlling emissions from industrial facilities. C. Regulating the use and disposable disposal of toxic substances, D, managing hazardous waste sites. C, regulating the use and disposable disposal of toxic substances. TSCA is a federal law that regulates the use and disposal of toxic substances to protect human health and the environment. Once again, if you enjoyed this kind of content, give us a likes up. Also, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and that's free to do use and then hit the notification bell so you don't miss one of our videos. Also, you might want to go review some more videos by going to our channel and there's a long list of questions and various videos that you can practice with. I hope you do well on your real estate exam. So the next question, what environmental law requires the disclosure of known information about the presence of lead-based paint and lead-based paint hazards in residential properties? A. Clean Water Act. B. Safe Drink Water Act. C. Residential Lead-Based Paint Hazard Reduction Act. D. Hazardous Materials Transportation Act. C. Residential Lead-Based Paint Hazard Reduction Act. This act, also known as Title 10, requires the disclosure of known information about lead-based paint hazards in residential properties. What is the purpose of the Clean Water Act? A. Regulating water quality standards. B. Controlling noise pollution. C. Managing hazardous waste sites. D. Regulating the use of toxic substances. A. Regulating Water Quality Standards. The Clean Water Act is designed to regulate water quality standards and control water pollution in the United States. What environmental law regulates the disposal of solid waste, including municipal solid waste, hazardous waste, and non-hazardous industrial waste? A. Clean Air Act. B. Resource Conservation and Recovery Act. C. National Environment Public Policy Act, D, Clean Water Act. B, Resource Conservation and Recovery Act, RCRA. RCRA addresses the management and disposal of solid waste, including hazardous waste and non-hazardous industrial waste. What is the purpose of the Hazardous Materials Transportation Act? A, regulating noise pollution from transportation. B, regulating the transportation of hazardous materials. C, managing hazardous waste sites along transportation routes. D, protecting wildlife during transportation. B. 
regulating the transportation of hazardous materials. HMTA regulates the transportation of hazardous materials to ensure their safe and secure transport. Under the Clean Air Act, what is the primary focus of the regulation of statutory stationary sources? A. Regulating emissions from vehicles. B. Regulating emissions from industrial facilities. C. Regulating noise pollution from stationary sources. D. Regulating emissions from agricultural activities. B. Regulating emissions from industrial facilities. The Clean Air Act focuses on regulating emissions from stationary sources such as industrial facilities to control air pollution. What is the purpose of the Asbestos Hazardous Emergency Response Act? A. Regulating emissions from asbestos manufacturing plants. B. Regulating the uses at of asbestos and construction materials, managing asbestos waste disposal, protecting workers from asbestos exposure in school. D, protecting workers from asbestos exposure in schools. AHERA is designed to protect students and school employees from asbestos exposure in schools by regulating its management and abatement. What federal agency is responsible for regulating and overseeing the transportation of hazardous materials? A. Environmental Protection Agency B. Department of Transportation C. Occupational Safety and Health Administration D. Federal Aviation administration. B. Department of Transportation. The DOT is responsible for regulating and overseeing the transportation of hazardous materials. What is the primary goal of the Federal Insecticide, Fungicide, and Rodenticide Act? Regulating the use of pesticides to protect public health, regulating noise pollution from agricultural activities, regulating the use of fertilizers in farming, managing waste from agricultural operations. A. Regulating the use of pesticides to protect public health. FIFRA regulates the use of pesticides to ensure they are safe and do not use or do not pose unreasonable risk to public health and the environment. What is the purpose of the Clean Power Plan? A. Regulating noise pollution from power plants. B. Regulating carbon dioxide emissions from power plants. C, managing hazardous waste from power generation. D, regulating water quality from power plant discharges. Regulating carbon dioxide emissions from power plants. The Clean Power Plan aimed to regulate carbon dioxide emissions from power plants to address climate change. What is the primary purpose of the Emergency Planning of Community Right to Know Act? A. Regulating noise pollution in communities. B. Regulating emergency response procedures for hazardous materials. C. Managing hazardous waste disposal in communities. D. Regulating community access to public lands. B. Regulating emergency response procedures for hazardous materials. EPCRA focuses on 
emergency planning and providing the public with information about hazardous substances in their communities. Under the Clean Water Act, what is the primary focus of the regulation of point sources? A. Regulating noise pollution from industrial facilities. B. Regulating emissions from vehicles. C. Regulating discharges of pollutants from specific identifiable sources. D. Regulating agricultural activities. C. Regulating discharge of pollutants from specific identifiable sources. The Clean Water Act regulates point sources such as industrial facilities to control discharges of pollutants into water bodies. What is the primary purpose of the Brownfields program? A. Regulating noise pollution in urban areas. B. Addressing and revitalizing contaminated properties. C. Regulating emissions from abandoned industrial sites. D. Managing waste from urban development projects. B. Addressing and revitalizing contaminated properties. The Brownfields program focuses on addressing and revitalizing contaminated properties to encourage their reuse and redevelopment. What is the purpose of the Clean Water State Revolving Fund? A. Regulating water quality standards. B. Providing financial assistance for water quality projects. C. Regulating emissions from water treatment plants. D. Regulating noise pollution in water bodies. B. Providing financial assistance for water quality projects. The CWSRF provides financial assistance for water quality projects, including those related to wastewater treatment and infrastructure. Well, that's the end of the 20 questions. I hope you did well on those. Once again, please subscribe. It really helps us out. Ask any questions in the comments below and hit that thumbs up. I hope you do well on your real estate exam. Take care.